Welcome back. I'm going to show you how you can use some of your favorite things we talked about in class to help you solve division problems such as 25,000 divided by 5. First, some of my favorite things, just as a little recap. Remember, I like coffee. So, let's pretend we have a problem such as 9 coffees divided by 3 friends. Now I'm going to represent my coffees using these discs. So I need nine of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I have my three friends represented below. So I'm going to split those up equally. One for you, one for you, one for you, and so on. So finally, I have my three friends each receiving three copies. But what does this have to do with 25,000 divided by 5? Let me show you. What if, instead of coffees, we talk about thousands? Hmm. And what if our problem was 9 thousandths divided by 3 friends, or 9 thousand divided by 3, even? Would we do the problem any differently? What do you think? Let's find out. So I need nine thousands, which again, I'm representing using diffs. There's my nine thousands. I have my three friends separated below, and I'm going to split them up equally. Hmm, interesting. I still get three thousands for each of my three friends. So what changed? Let's see if it will work with a different problem. So now, instead of talking about my beloved cat, let's name this place value hundreds. And if we were given the problem to solve 800 divided by 2, is there an easier way that I can represent this problem to make it easier for me to solve? I think there is. But first, it's divided by 2, and right now I have three groups, so I'm going to fix that first. So now I've got my two groups. Now, I'm going to rethink about this problem. Instead of 800 divided by 2, think of it as 800 divided by 2. Now I'm ready to represent 800 in my chart using my place value disk. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, and 800. Now I'm going to split my 800 equally into two equal groups. I have none left over. How many hundreds are in each group? That's right. It equals four hundreds or four hundred. Do we agree those are equivalent? Let's try another. Sleep. Hmm. What do you think my Z's are going to turn into? Have any guesses? I bet you know. You're right. Tens. And my books, do you see a pattern here? Absolutely, those are ones. Let's try this problem. 60 divided by 2. Is there another way that I can think of this problem that's going to help me solve it? What if I think of it as 6 tens divided by 2? Do we agree that those equations represent the same problem? Yeah. Let me show you. Let me use my disk again to represent six tens, and I need to divide those into two equal groups, which I have below. And I already see a pattern here. How many tens are in each one of my two equal groups? That's right. The quotient is three tens or thirty. Let's try another. What if I have the problem 120 divided by 4? Huh. What's another way that I can represent that problem? I could represent it as 12 tens divided by 4. You're right. Or I could even represent it as 100 plus 2 tens divided by 4. Huh. I wonder if I could do that last one. I look at 100, it's kind of like a dollar. I can divide that into four equal parts because that makes a quarter, so that's 25. And then I've got two tens. Well, the tens themselves I can't 
divided into four equal parts, but I could make it 20. And then I could divide that by five. Oh man, that's complicated for me. I think there's an easier way. I like the 12 tens divided by four. So I'm going to represent that problem. And there's my 12 tens, but I need four equal groups. And I only have two. Let's add those. There's my four equal groups. Now I'm ready to divide those 12 tens equally. <gasps> Help me finish this problem on the Google form. Explain your process using words and or provide a link to the visual representation. You may want to hit pause while you complete this problem. And remember, you're always welcome to go back and review some previous examples. Let's try the next problem. 1,600 divided by 4. What's another way to think of this problem using place value? That's what I thought too. 1,600 divided by 4. Let's try to solve that one. Finish the problem on your own. Be sure to record your results in the Google form. Ready for the next one? Let's go! Told you you were ready. Here we go. 25,000 divided by 5. It's your turn for an extra, extra, entirely optional challenge. Are you ready? Go ahead and solve it and tell me about it on the Google form. Remember, you can use words and or include a link to a visual representation. I can't wait to teach you tomorrow.